over little cottonwood lake. Well, good evening and welcome to the LBJ Grasslands outside of Decatur, Texas. Tonight's exercise is a battery endurance test of the Phoenix HM75R headlamp. This is something I have wanted to do for some time and, uh, well, I get very few opportunities to do long exercises, so uh, an opportunity arose and I really wanted to take advantage of it. Well, battery endurance, you may have seen these before. Typically what I do is I take the light and put it in either its high or turbo output. You saw that we had the power bank attached to the headlamp. And so uh, tonight we're going to do a turbo test. So what I plan on doing is I want to keep something that's relatively constant in view for most of the night, and that is the road. Uh, typically when I do test at, let's say, Arbor Hills or Oak Point, the constant there is the concrete path. The nice thing is I go a mile in that direction, the road looks pretty much the same. I go a mile in that direction, the road looks pretty much the same. Now I'm going to get off-road and probably do a little trail hopping throughout uh, the night, but the name of the game should be very simple. Turn the light on in turbo, leave it, let's see how it burns down. Now I also like to do these tests under at least somewhat inclement circumstances. Tonight it's going to be temperature. I'm very grateful that the wind has died down to almost nothing because it uh, should be pretty close to freezing for a good portion of the night. And uh, that tends to have an adverse effect on battery performance. We'll see. I'm looking for a couple of things. We'll have a nice wide open view like this for a very large part of the evening. So one thing I'm looking for is how well does the light or how well and how long does the light allow me to have uh, good situational awareness, good field of view. It's quite possible after a certain time it may decay to a point that it's just too difficult to uh, make my way across terrain. I'll make sure I point that out. Then, of course, we may be interested in, uh, you know, how long does it take to drive it to exhaustion? I don't know if I'll get there tonight. Uh, we'll just have to see. I do have a business meeting late tomorrow morning, so I do not have all night for this test. Uh, it takes about an hour 40 for me to drive back, so that means I've got a time box of approximately six hours to work with. So we'll just see what happens in that time frame, and uh, hopefully that will provide some useful practical information on the uh, performance of this product. All right, well, it's time for me to get kitted out and then uh, let the sun go down a bit more and we'll get started. So I had the headlamp on while I was getting geared up. Wanted to get that burn going. The sun is still setting, but I really need to get this exercise started because I've got a limited time box. Uh, looking about 100 yards, roughly maybe 105 downrange. Just wanted to provide a quick reference view at the campground. And about eight minutes into the exercise, and here's a quick view looking down the road. And here's another view at uh, not quite 14 and a half minutes. And there's our update on mission time. I'm looking out <clears throat> over Little Cottonwood Lake. You can, that's the drive that takes you to the parking area. I can barely see to the opposite edge, and I do mean just barely. It may not show up on the phone. That would be suitable for perhaps picking up eye shine, but uh, not much more. And closing in on 25 
minutes. Here's another reference view of the road. This particular path will uh, lead me beyond Cottonwood Lake, which is to my left. And there is our time update. Okay, I'm looking down on the blue trail. I don't know if you can see the indication of the trail there, but we're at roughly the half hour mark. I'm going to go down to the end of the road, turn around and come back. And so this is a spot that we can check on the way back. And approximately 37 minutes, so I'm still on the road, but I'm looking down. That is the boat slip area into Cottonwood Lake. A uh, line of sights probably in that 90 to 100 yard range is a rough guess. There is current time, and I just noticed a visible step down wasn't dramatic. It was very quick. So this is our first very noticeable step down. And not quite 50 minutes. Here we are at uh, the end of the road. I'd say the output level has gone from uh, way beyond overkill to just overkill for what I need. So what I'm going to do now is turn around, go back the way we came, and I'll make a couple of stops for comparison and then uh, make up my mind what I want to do next. And we are right at one hour looking back on that boat slip area. Clearly not as impressive as the outbound leg. Closing in on an hour 11 in the outbound leg, I showed you a road shot from down there looking up to approximately where I'm standing. Now we're looking at the road ahead at a down angle. I'm going to head back to the truck, and at that point, uh, I'll just say we've completed phase one. And on the way, I'll uh, think about some fun things to do for phase two. Time update. We are back at camp and phase one is complete. I'll take a brief break. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, explain phase two. And begin phase two. That was a bit longer interval than I had planned, but I have to confess I got a little bit carried away just relaxing and listening to the coyotes howl. And it's uh, coming from that direction. So, uh, well, that's the direction we're headed. I'm going to take the road out in the opposite direction, head down to the Tadra campground, i got a couple options from there. I don't know if anybody is camping, so I'm going to check that out first. I may make a side trip, and then uh, there's another road that heads out roughly west. I believe that's FS904, and we'll see if we can uh, catch any of those coyotes for photography purposes, of course. And there's our formal update on mission time. I'm here at the Tadra campground. I don't know if you can hear the whining and yelping I've been hearing is louder and it's straight ahead. You can see the uh, trailhead marker there, picnic area. This road keeps going out approximately north until the, into the fence line. And uh, I think I'm going to head out that way, get to the fence line, turn around. I don't know. I might take a few side trips, see if I can uh, get a coyote or at least the eye shine on uh, video. Well, oh, did you hear it? Yeah, let's see what happens. About two and a half hours. Don't know if you can hear it. They're back there. Haven't picked up any eye shine yet.
I also thought I saw something back in that direction, just for completeness, that's a view of the road. Yeah, I can hear them all around me, but uh, no joy on video. And there's the update on mission time. I came back to the Todger area, walked all around the campground area. They're, they're out there. Uh, and I wouldn't say close proximity, but definitely not going to get anything on video tonight. So I'm at approximately the uh, same position I was when I came into this area. Here is your exit view. I'm going to head back to the campground, and I guess we'll uh, wrap up phase two. And mission time. I took a couple of side trips on my way back, but here we are back at camp end of phase two and honestly the way this headlamp is holding up i think i'm going to take a nice long break got a thermos of uh coffee in the truck so i'll just babysit the headlamp for a while while i ponder phase three And time update, yes, that was a very long rest interval. Very cold one, too. My coffee went really cold really quick. I can, um, wow, I can really, really feel that cold just trying to seep inside me. All right, this next phase is going to be uh, a short one. I just want to do a couple comparative shots. I'm going to go back to Little Cottonwood Lake. Uh, Cottonwood Lake, that view that we did looking down over to the Blue Trail, and then I will uh, head back to camp here and decide how to finish out the exercise. Time update. A truck drove down into uh, the, the Little Cottonwood Lake area just as I walked by. I think that may have been U.S. Forest Service law enforcement, but uh, kicked up a bunch of dust, and so I'm doing these in reverse order. And there you have it. All right, there's the time. Looking out over Little Cottonwood Lake considerably weaker than when we came out here in phase one. I'm not sure I can see the opposite edge. Part of the problem is I know exactly where the opposite edge is, so I want to fake myself into believing I see it. To whatever extent I can make something out, I think it's being benefited by some of the light reflecting off the water. So I'm just going to say at this point, we really cannot make out the uh, opposite edge, certainly not on the phone. All right, made it back. Seems like we might have lost a bit, but I'm still getting acceptable illumination for very basic detection, 90 in some cases, 100 yards downrange, and for nearly five hours. I have to say I'm fairly impressed. So uh, I'm going to grab some chow in the truck, take the headlamp off, put it on the truck bed facing in this direction so it will continue to burn down and continue to be exposed to the outside temperature. And there we have it, just crossed through six hours. I spent most of that interval <laughs> in the truck. I did a temperature check. It's 29 Fahrenheit out. However, even after six hours, if I was in the middle of the grasslands right now uh, on an actual saw op, and I was working over a pretty wide open 
area, this would still be more than acceptable illumination for making my way across the terrain. Let me just pan around a bit here. Definitely getting the job done. What I'm going to do now is since I really, really need to get back, I'm going to leave the headlamp on. I'll have it covered up in the front seat and uh, we'll see where we are about an hour 30 hour 40 when i get back to the apartment i may or may not record another segment if not i will thank everyone for their time now but make sure that you ride this one all the way to the end all right closing in on eight hours that's 7 30 Seven back at my apartment complex by the small lake and we are still going and still going fairly strong.